DaVinci Resolve for noobs. A lot of people have asked me if it's possible to do animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I was able to do this yesterday. I'm just trying to see if I can get this stick figure to actually talk and move around. Now it's not much of an animation, it's pretty simple, but let me show you the basics of how I had to pull this off. I started with an image I got from ChatGPT asking it to make me a stick figure, and I used that to start building a reference of my own stick figure inside of Affinity Photo Suite, which is the photo editing software I like using. And I literally built right on top of the original one, and if I decompose this, you can see each individual layer I had to build to make this stick figure, including rounding the joints to make sure when they move, there would be the ability to not have harsh corner shell. I also made a variety of different mouths that I could use to make him talk in different ways, as well as different eye shapes I could use if I wanted to make him look like he was angry or sad or whatever. And then I had to export each one of those as separate files and bring them into DaVinci Resolve, and you can see them all here. Now you could do this in Fusion, but Fusion tends to take up more resources than the edit page, and I just decided to do it in the edit page. And then all I did was I recorded myself directly into DaVinci Resolve using the voiceover feature, and I took that track and used the voice convert to use AI to change it to a different sounding voice. That gave me this. I'm just trying to see if I can get this stick figure to actually talk and move around. Once I had the voice where I wanted it, I actually selected the mouth track and I opened up the keyframe spline, but you could also do this with the keyframe tray underneath. That also works. I started putting keyframes wherever I saw large open waves and I just clicked and added keyframes in each of those spots. And then in between where I saw silence, I just used the inspector to change the shape of the mouth and pull down the Y value. And then with each keyframe, it looks like the mouth was opening and closing to the shape of the audio waveform. I did the same with the whites of the eyes. It was just a matter of making it look like they were closing down and opening back up, and it made it look like he was blinking while he was talking. When it came to the moving parts of the body, things like the arms and the legs, I just kept the on-screen transform option on, and I moved the pivot point to all of the joint access areas. So for an upper arm, I wanted the pivot point to be up near his shoulder. For a lower arm, I wanted the pivot point to be over near his elbow. For a hand, I wanted the pivot point to be near his wrist, and so on. Now, DaVinci Resolve isn't really built for 2D animation. There are other softwares like Toon Boon Harmony that do this so much more effectively, but it can be done if you're willing to take a little time. Once I had all of this put together, I literally selected them all and turned them into a compound clip, and that compound clip is actually right here. And I was able to add a little outline and some drop shadow. And I put in a background that I had ChatGPT put together for me. I also grabbed some background noise, a little outdoor in the city park sound effect that I got from Storyblocks. And once I was all done layering, it gave me this. I'm just trying to see if I can get this stick figure to actually talk and move around. If you guys are interested, what I can do is compress all of these body parts and upload them to Google Drive. I can give you these body parts and maybe we could do a live stream and go through how to actually do it. Let me know in the comments down below.